Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jesus and Coffee Conversations. If this is your very first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. I hope that you all are having a great week so far and you are enjoying your Thursday. If you do not have your coffee, press the pause button, go make you some and come on back. I have mine here in my tumbler today. And I'm going to put that there. Make sure you have your pens, your Bibles, and your journals, and let's get started. So today, I am going to be talking to you about forgiveness. And forgiveness to me is basically when you forgive other people's wrongdoings and shortcomings. And a synonym for um, forgiveness is mercy. And I have a couple of scriptures here. And I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to read one, actually. And then the rest of them I will put down in the description box below so that you can go back and read them in your own time with God. So Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 through 15, Ephesians chapter 4 verses 31 through 32, 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, and Acts chapter 3 verse 19. And I'm going to read... Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 through 15 and I don't remember what translation this is but when I find it I'll make sure to put it in the description box below and it reads for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their sins your father will not forgive your sins. How powerful is that scripture by itself? Jesus is basically saying that if you are unforgiving towards other people, then God is going to be unforgiving towards you and he is not going to forgive your sins. So that is one, that's like the main reason that forgiveness is important is so that you can be forgiven of your sins by God. And forgiveness is also important because it frees you and it's more for you than it is the person that you're forgiving. And how is that so? How is forgiveness for you? It's for you because like I said, it frees you. You're not walking around angry or, you know, hurtful towards other people or walking around full of resentment. And it just, it free, and you don't suffer from certain Ill, like illnesses, like diseases can come from unforgiveness. Have you ever um, been around a person that you know they are holding grudges against other people? And have you noticed like how hateful they are or how mean they are? They might be suffering from like high blood pressure or they might be having issues with their heart. All of that ties into unforgiveness and so when you forgive it's also healthy for your relationships it help, it makes your relationships stay healthy and it helps them to grow so whether it's your relationship with your significant other or your friends or your family co-workers whatever kind of relationships that you have in your life forgiveness is important you have to show mercy towards other people and that doesn't necessarily mean that you forget what they did because there are people that I have forgiven in my life, but I can tell you what they did just like it happened yesterday. But I forgive them. I'm not hateful towards them. I don't have any resentment towards them. And so that's what forgiveness is. It doesn't mean that you have to be that person's best friend. It doesn't mean that you have to be all buddy-buddy with them. You, for you can forgive them and you can keep them at a distance. You know, if they speak, you can say hi or whatever and keep it moving. You don't have to stand there and carry on a conversation if you don't want to. You forgive them and you go on about your business and you let them go about their business. But you have to forgive. And it's hard. Everything that I tell you guys in these videos are things that I have had to do and continue having to. And I still have to do them. Like, it does. I practice what I preach or I try to practice what I preach. But forgiveness is not easy. There, you know, was a situation where I had somebody lie on me. And I wanted <laughs> to clear my name and I wanted to set that person straight. But I didn't. I gave it to God. And it was difficult for me to be able to do that. But I did it and God took care of it. That's why God in the Bible says 
to not avenge yourself. Vengeance is his and he will repay. So if somebody did you wrong, God sees that and God knows that. And God will take care of that person. He might not get them right then the way that you want him to. But he is going to make sure that that person pays for what they did to you. But you can't go around, you know, even though that person lied on me, I, I didn't go around being, you know, hateful towards them or anything like that. I forgave them. It was hard to do it, but I did it. And I, that person is at a distance. I don't associate with them hardly anymore. So forgiveness, it's not easy, but it's necessary. And it's necessary for you so that you can live the way that God wants you to live. And it's a process. For, for some people, forgiveness is a process because it depends on what that person is forgiven. You have people that were abused. You have people that maybe went through infidelity. So every forgiveness has some kind of process. And you have to put in the work in order to heal. So you have to pray and ask God to help you forgive and then pray and ask God if you need to go to like a counselor or a therapist or, you know, get outside help in order to forgive and begin that healing process for yourself, then do that because it's necessary for you and it keep, it helps keep you healthier. It makes you, it frees you to live your best life. And you can't live your best life if you are constantly holding on to grudges toward people. People that you are holding grudges towards, they don't even know. They moved on. They're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about what they did. They probably don't even know that they did it. But so you have to let them know that they did something that offended you or hurt you. And then you got to forgive them for it. Show mercy towards that person. But that per those people that you are holding grudges against, like I said, they, they are moving on. They're not thinking about it. They don't even realize it, some of them. So you got to let it go. There's no point in you walking around here all hurt up and angry at the world and bitter and resentful and hateful and just all... All that extra junk. You don't need that junk in your life. That's not good for you. And you need to live your best life. And in order to do that, you have got to forgive and show mercy. People are human. We make mistakes. We hurt people sometimes intentionally and sometimes unintentionally. But it happens. And you have to be able to forgive. You cannot hold on to every single Thing that somebody does to you you gotta let it go so that is everything that I have to say about forgiveness I hope that you all enjoy this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already press the like button and also don't forget to press the bell so that you're notified when I upload content and I will also make sure that I put these scriptures in the description box below for you leave me a comment and I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward to talking to you guys on Saturday. Take care. Bye.